My name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside walkthrough of the front of my Winnebago Adventurer 33B. Taking a look here. Give you a full walk around view. Starting we have a swivel recliner chair which can be removed, taken outside and sat under the awning. It does have a fully op automatic power awning which I've shown in my other video. It operates from a remote control or switches down by the entry door. You have a pull out table which can stow oops, stow in that location there. Uh, this real leather chairs with high quality leather. Another desk for the front captain's chair stows in the dash there. And these swivel you can point them wherever you want and recline them there's all kinds of adjustments on these chairs. This little black thing is an armrest height adjustment. Driver's chair has the same features. Plus the driver's chair is power operated. So it's a eight, uh, six way power. Plus all the other adjustments. Driver's station there. Walking back showing you the uh, day night shades. This is a power rest easy sofa which I'll show you in the sleep videos. It uh, has power recline on the sofa. And seat belts for three people on the sofa and two front seats have seat belts. Seat belts in this vehicle are for up to five people. You could add additional seat belts if you choose. That would require professional installation of seat belts. Over in the kitchen we have the Corian countertops show you very briefly it's got a porcelain sink and this RV is unique it's got the pull out premium faucet here soap dispenser fresh water dispenser for your drinking waters and these Corian covers for the sink top going on to the kitchen here Easy start burners, turn it on, light it up, you have fire. Let's light another one. Easy to cook some eggs in here. It's not like the old days where you had to rub sticks together. And going on that note, con full convection microwave. This microwave gets hot like a toaster or it cooks like a microwave. So you don't have to use the oven. But if you like the oven, you have an oven too. It has shown very little sign of use in here, but it does have it. Uh, it has a cutting board here. Doesn't look like there was much use on that. A lot of storage. If you get things dirty, you have a little vacuum cleaner down here in your cabinet there and some circuit controls if you ever need to get to them. Going on back, speaking of circuit, control, circuit controls, take a look here. Uh, Pull out pantry compartments. Refrigerator has an ice maker with ice as you can see it's been busy. That's fully operational. This is your master circuit control. You have an electric water heater combined with a propane water heater. Generator start and stop in addition to the dash position water pump, power line control. Power line control uh, lets you plug into a regular house outlet with a 20 amp setting, 30 amp power outlet, or a 50 amp power outlet depending on uh, what's supported and, and it keeps fuses from blowing by turning off things that are using too much power at any given time. It manages it automatically. Shows you battery levels, tank levels, air conditioning is fully automatic, dual coach air conditioning and dual coach heater aside from a, a separate coach heater in the dash. Actually has three heaters and three air conditioners in this motorhome. Air conditioner number one is under the bed. It's a standard RV residential air conditioner which is set up like a a home system under the bed that pumps out through these overhead ducts and the second compressor kicks in on high demand situations when you have enough power like in 50 amp power 
and one of the heaters is a LP propane heater. The other heater is a heat pump tied to this central air conditioning system. The third heater is a dash heater, which is a coach heater. And that, that coach heater gets heat from the, the engine. And that's separate from the dash heat. There's a, you could almost argue there's four heaters in this motorhome. It's a pretty neat coach. And again, I'm showing you the interior walkthrough. My name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call, 951-681-2101. We do have all the books and manuals in here. I've got that in my pictures. I have over 130 pictures posted online that you can take a look at. 951-681-2101. Thank you.